In this video, I'm going to walk you through the final unit of customize a Salesforce object, create validation rules. Okay. Introduction, Noah Larkin, who's the service dude, can now track which accounts don't have support plan expiration date, but he also wants to ensure that going forward, all users enter the support plan expiration date when the has support plan checkbox is selected on an account. Allison Wheeler has a similar request. She'd like to ensure that the sales reps enter a close reason whenever an opportunity is lost. Okay, um, I think I spoke about this a little bit earlier. It's just the importance of like keeping track of the close reason helps give a lot of um, important information for understanding to the business as to how to direct itself and its training efforts, its marketing efforts, its sales processes, all that stuff. Take care of Noah and Allison's request by creating validation rules, which allow you to specify your own criteria to prevent users saving invalid data in one or more fields. Note, an important point to keep in mind when working with validation rules is the impact on existing data. Validation rules apply to both future data and current data, so, the admin may need to up populate the required data of the existing records to ensure any future integrations aren't blocked. So like if you say that you want to, oh, well, we'll probably come across an example here, but like if you create a validation rule that you can only save it if it's missing, if it's not missing a piece of information, but the data is already entered with that missing piece of information, like then what? So, First, create an account, create validation rules. First, create an account validation rule that forces users to enter a support plan expiration date when has support plan is selected. From object manager, select account. I'll go back over there. Select validation rules and then click new. For a rule name, enter support plan expiration date required. Ensure active is selected. It is. And for description, enter support plan expiration date is required when the count is marked as having a support plan. All right, you can't, if you, like this is also a really good point. Like if you're just to put in that it has a support plan, but you didn't put in the expiration date, then you'd be missing, first of all, you don't know when to, to stop supporting them. You also don't know when to reach out to them to say, hey, your support plan is about to end. Would you like to renew it? So uh, this is important. Enter this formula in the error condition formula for box. Oh, this is nice. I don't I mean, I don't have to build this step by step. Let's just read it through. Has support plan, C, that's the custom object, is true. And looking for is blank, support plan expiration date, C, is blank. So if it has a support plan, that's true. And is, and the support plan expiration date is blank, then um, then this validation rule is going to run, which means um, it's going to throw that error message. You must enter an expiration date when account plan has a support plan. When it, when account has a support plan. This is the error message down here. Select field as the error location and support plan expiration date as the field. Yeah, I always hate it when you get the error at the top of the page. Support plan expiration as the field. Click save.
And that way the error message shows up right next to the field. So the you know salesperson or support person knows exactly what they need to fix. Cool. Next, create an opportunity validation rule to force users to enter a closed reason when the support stage is closed lost. From setup object manager select opportunity. Validation rules, new, and we are going to name this close reason required when lost. The description is a close reason is required when the opportunity is lost. And here's the formula. So we're going to do the pick value. We're going to look at the stage name. If it's closed last and the field closed blank, closed reason is blank. So if those two things are true, then this validation rule is going to run and say, oh, that's not going to work. And I'll let you save. Check syntax, no errors found. And then for the error message, you must enter a closed reason when opportunity is closed last. And let's put this on the field. And we're going to do it as the closed reason field. Which I like that. That's actually pretty cool. Okay. You've created pick lists, lookup filters, formula fields, record types, uh, history checking, lots of stuff. Okay. Let's verify. Even, you know, I, this is, this project really gets you into a lot of the different things that we're actually going to keep learning about as we continue to go through the admin uh, trail mix that's uh, been set up for us. So, if this stuff didn't make 100% sense right now for you, don't worry about it. Um, we're going to have a chance to revisit it. But I do feel like hopefully this going through this project gave you a sense of like lots of the different ways that you can configure your Salesforce to accomplish certain business outcomes. Um, I, wish, I wish this module was more directed in focusing on those elements, like customizing a Salesforce object totally undersells how important what we're doing because customizing the object is not the goal. Accomplishing business objectives is the goal. Um, anyhow, but we'll, we'll keep at it, you know, so thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.